I did is I put it on the fabric and I just kind of took my fabric and I rolled it like this and then I cut I cut it out the piece that's what I did and so now I'm gonna glue it I'm not being really uh, like this isn't really hard to do this is really simple this is how I do stuff just figure it out and then I do it so we do it so I'm going to start from the back because it's got the crease there. It has a little crack in it and I'm not going to worry about it because you're not going to see it once I do it. And I know I'm going to have excess of this um, fabric and that's okay because I can cut it off. So I'm just going to take my hot glue gun and be really careful because it's hot. I've burnt myself before and it's not fun. So I'm going to start right where that little... That little uh, there in my shade and I'm going to glue my first piece on there and be careful if you touch it because uh, it's really 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 hot. My, like I said my glue gun gets really hot so I'm going to glue put some more glue on this on my lamp I'm just going to put some glue and then I'm going to start rolling my fabric on here bought this little feather boa. I was only planning on putting it on the bottom, but I might put it on the top and bottom if I have enough. I, don't know. I might have enough, so, so I'm going to put this on. I'm going to glue this on the top as part of the trim. So this lamp, this lampshade is not going to go on this lamp. This is going to go on another one, but we got one down and one more to go. Next lampshade we're going to do is this one. This one's going to be a little different. I'm going to put this on here. It's going to be a little easier. For this one, boy, the feathers are getting everywhere. That's one thing about working with feathers. They're very, very messy. Okay. Hmm. So this one, I'm going to use a ruffled trim. And again, I'm just going to take this. I'm going to start from the back, glue it, and just start wrapping it around my, my shape. Up.
this the shade you can see that it's it's you know you can see a little bit of white through it it doesn't matter I mean if you wanted to you could have I could have spray painted it first or whatever um, but I don't feel like doing that okay so I think what I'm gonna have to do yep this one now because there's a ruffle on both sides of this piece of trim so I'm gonna take and I'm gonna cut it down the center where it's kind of like a it's like a netting material and now I'm just going to use this one piece of, of trim and put it all the way around. Lots of little strings you have to get off, but that's it. So that's it. That's my shade. Really easy, really quick to do. Um, it was really cheap to make too because I reused the other shade. I think the ribbon was on sale. I think it might have been 10 bucks for the for the ribbon that was on sale that I used um, and the fabric as well that I used for the other and a little bit of bow up. Really easy, simple to do. Use what you have, reuse what you have, and save money that way. That's what I'm all about. It's trying to it's decorating on a budget. That's what I'm all about. So I hope that you enjoyed this. I still have to finish this. That's gonna go on the other lampshade, and when I reveal the room, you'll see both of them all done. And that's it for today. Make sure that you follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Google+, and my blog, of course. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, and make sure you subscribe to White Lace Cottage. Thanks again, guys.